Welcome to the Morning Talk with Lenora. Hi, good morning, and welcome to the Morning Talk with Lenora. It is um, when Tuesday, Tuesday, and um, <coughs> no appointments. Um, I went out yesterday with my daughter, and it's always good to hang with my girls. So um, my oldest daughter, we went to the store, and a grocery store, and you know, she came home and visit. And we, you know, just talk like we do about our family. And she, she teaches me so much, you know, uh, giving me some ideas to improve my channel um, that I will try to be implementing really soon. Um, we can talk about what she wants to do and, um, you know, her business, which I will um, tell you about the next time. Um, I'm going to tell you about what she does. Well, I know that um, um, Black History Month is, you know, slowly leaving. I think we have one more day. And I didn't want to go out without, you know, giving props, Wakanda. So I wore my stuff today. Um, I told you I'm that girl. I s see things and <coughs> I make them. So, um... This is the stuff that I made um, because I just wanted them <laughs> and I just did them. Um, got on my, uh, my Daichiki bomber, you know, just dressing up for y'all, you know, because I'm home, so only person to impress is myself. So I'm dressing up for y'all and for Black History Month. Let's get that clear. It's I'm doing it for a purpose, and I'm, I'm drinking coffee, <laughs> this, this is the first cup this week, so I have to go really slow, um, because I told you in the beginning that coffee upsets my stomach, so, um, I have to go real slow, and, um, I'm going to savor this cup, it's like a French vanilla, you know, I like a little flavor. I even drink it black. But um, today I just wanted, I just needed that caffeine to get me going. Um, and get me started and, you know, get out early. Because yesterday um, I went with my daughter and I did my program in the morning. But I didn't upload it to YouTube till later. And it's like, well, I guess everybody forgot about me. Um, because I didn't do it on time. So I did do one yesterday. If you see this one and you're wondering, and I probably popped something up into the um, atmosphere to let you know that I did it. But the coffee is so good. Mm. Yesterday, I told a story from my nursing. And I was thinking, I was like, you know what? I remember another time when um, I, was, I was doing, I was working at a different nursing home. And it still happened that we had a... Uh, weather emergency and there was like hurricane in the atmosphere or tornado or something and you know being healthcare personnel you can't leave and i was working in the evening shift right so i couldn't leave i had to wait for the next people to come so anyway uh, part of the procedure was excuse me to get um the residents into the hallway for their safety, you know, away from windows and in the hallway. So we, um, myself and the other staff members, we you know we followed procedures and prepared. You know, um, you know, we weren't sure if it was going to hit us, but you know, those were things preparation. So I, at that particular time, I again was working the evening, I think, um, or a 12-hour shift, which is like the evening and the morning and the forever and the night. You know, it's forever. So. Um, we got our people in the hallway, and um, I had this little patient that was blind. And, you know, they would always put her up in one of the recliners, make her comfortable. She was well into her 90s. And, you know, she was, you know, she didn't talk, and, you know, she'd say thank you occasionally, give her something. But pretty much she didn't say anything. So we had everybody else in the hallway, 
and, you know, the patients, they could talk and stuff, and I had everybody, and, you know, I'd go around and check on them and stuff, because I'd already give them all my meds and everything, so it was really about just kind of checking on them. So the little lady who was blind hears all this commotion, you know, people moving around, we're putting them all out because she can't see, right? So then she, just out of nowhere, she says, what's happening? So, you know, I'm shocked because she's talking. So I go to her and I told her, I said, there's a hurricane coming. You know, I'm talking so she can hear me. There's a hurricane coming. <laughs> so we had to move you all out into the hallway for your safety. So she said, she said, she listened around this. She said, oh, she said, I'm like, and everybody in the hallway fell out laughing. The patients, the staff, everybody who could understand what she said. Because she said it very loudly. And because the lady there talks, it was hilarious. And, you know, it just lightened the moment, you know, of what was going on. And, you know, you know, it just, um, you know, it was just a funny minute moment. Well, um, as God would have it, um, the um, tornado, hurricane, whatever, it didn't hit the facility. So, you know, we uh, weathered the worst part, and then, you know, I was still there and had to get the patients back into their rooms and stuff, but, I mean, I used to love, I mean, the work was very hard at the nursing home, you know, you're like one nurse, you got 40 patients, and you're passing meds to 40 patients, you're responsible for their, self, their safety, their health, you know, making sure that, and you're also a supervisor because you're supervising other people who are doing that to make sure that they also provide the same health and safety for the residents. So it is a big responsibility. And, you know, I did it as a part-time job, started out, and then, yeah, I, I did it full-time, and then I'd go back to the things that I did, like home health and whatever. But, you know, I always knew that there were jobs at the nursing home, and I really did like the patients I did. I liked helping them out. So um, that's another Jonas nurse story brought to you by Jonas Towery and his channel, Jonas and Daddy. I shouted you out, Jonas. Absolutely. Um, in lieu of Black History Month, I again went to my library and um, I wanted to see what I had, you know. I actually get overwhelmed myself because I'm like reading all these books and then, you know, I kind of get sidetracked or I pull a book out and stuff like that. So this time I, um, I told you all that during my Valentine's show that, you know, one of the things I love is I really, really dig Egyptian culture, you know. You know, I'm just, anyway. So I brought one of my books to my library. It is called The Egyptians. And it's by Cyril Aldred, Cyril Aldred. And I'm going to um, post the information about the book. So if you all are interested, it's probably another one of my purchases. Like, I haven't been in the library in a long time, and this makes me want to go back and check. But I actually bought these because they were selling them. And I'm like, you know, I'm just like, how could you get rid of books? So I acquired some of these. Um, there is one um, I wanted to share with you. This is a picture of Ramesses II. You know, he was a pretty powerful king. So, um, and, you know, I just wanted to share that with you. And he actually has his son in the statue at the bottom. He's so small at the bottom, you probably can't see him, but he's there. So this is from my library, and this is my Black History Moment. Ding. So, Today is a beautiful day, and um, I feel good. I like my little get up. I don't know if I'm going to go out anywhere because people are going to look at me. <laughs> They're going to look at me. And, um, but I think it's kind of cool. cool. It's, I like it. Um, I am, it is, it is a celebrating outfit for the, end, for the coming end of Black History Month, so it does mean something. And, um, I'll check the mailbox. Yeah, that'll, I'll get out and get some air and check the mailbox and drink my um, forbidden coffee today. I just need some caffeine to get me going. I'm kind of 
Ah, oh, this is like it's one of those mornings where just laying in that bed and those pillows, you know, it's like really good, but you know, you can't do much too many things from your bed, you know. If you wanna get things you wanna run, you gotta get out of it. Get started and get going, so I got out of it. I also, of course, um, I want to talk about my book, which, you know, you probably say, oh, I'm so tired of hearing about that book. But, I, you know, I'm a person who is about books. And, you know, um, if it wasn't my book and I read it, I would tell you this is a good book. Um, it's a very interesting book. It's a true story, you know, and it's about um, my Cine Gravis. And um, one of the things I would like to do in this talk show is actually bring attention to my Cine Gravis to highlight it, to um, let people know about it. Because, you know, um, I'm sure there could be people who are diagnosed with myasthenia every day or who are having symptoms every day because it's a very unpredictable disease and some of the symptoms are very um, similar to other illnesses. So, you know, at least if you get into your ears where you've heard about it, then, you know, it might be something that you yourself may be able to pass on to someone else who's having problems or who's having illnesses and nobody ever thought to think about myasthenia gravis. So, um, you know, it's just, you know, what I deal with is not, it's just my platform. So, I want to say hello to um, my faithful viewers, my children, Ron, Kiki, and Day, and uh, Jay out there in Kelly. And also, um, their really cool channel, Jonas and Daddy, is really cute. <laughs> um, if you get a chance, check it out. Check out a couple of few um, videos and even subscribe to it. It's a fun little channel. So, um, I guess I am done for the day. You know, I have time limits that, you know, I want to talk. So it's been great today. Um, I hope you enjoy your Black History Month. And um, one thing, you know, celebrate Black History by purchasing a book from a Black author. So I'd like to say goodbye to everyone. Thank you for joining my channel. And have an awesome Tuesday. I think I'm going to give myself some music. Um, the headphones can fit on when I take my headpiece off so I can listen to some music. I'm feeling some, uh, I'm feeling some Shaka Khan and Heather Headley. So that's what I think I'm going to do. So you all have a great day and thank you for stopping in and Wakanda baby. So y'all have a great day and I'll talk to you.